Plant Based Jan here. We're on the road again for our adventure series. I figured out that great travel is not about constantly searching for healthy food. Out here, sometimes in the middle of nowhere, in national parks, there really is none. So if you're plant-based, I'll give you some new ideas, some inspiration, or if you're just looking for adventure, my goal is to win you over because we can all appreciate great health. Today, we are headed to the Wind Caves National Park. It's in South Dakota, and it's kind of around the area where Mount Rushmore is. There's a lot of um, a lot of different scenic parks. There's Custer State Park, a lot of wildlife out here. Badlands National Park is in the vicinity as well. But anyway, on to Wind Caves National Park. So the Wind Cave National Park, if you've never heard of it, that's not surprising. It's in one of our lesser populated parks. And it is, it's actually the first cave to be designated a national park. It's got 141 miles of explored passageways underground. Uh, over the top of the park is where the grasslands are and that's where the bison roam as well. So it's a really interesting park. It's going to be fun to check it out, go down in the elevator and uh, just figure it all out. Come along with us. So what are we having for lunch today, plant-based Jan? Okay, today, earlier at the hotel, or I should say motel, because you're staying at Sturgis, so it's a motel, let's just call it that. Uh, what I have made for our lunch today at Wind Caves National Park, we are about to go on our tour, so we thought this is a great time to have lunch. We're actually out in the parking lot. Usually it's a killer, killer view, but not today. But we're gonna go down into the Wind Cave. So for lunch, what we have is a two different meal-like salads. The first one is a uh, kind of a Tex-Mex salad, a lot of corn, cilantro, some cucumber, tomatoes, uh, jalapenos, of course, I spread jalapenos and stuff. Um, and then I also have a little bit of soy chorizo just to kind of take away up a notch. So if you want to get a close up of all the ingredients of that salad, uh, very satisfying salad because of the corn and the starch and all of that. And then the other salad, which I'm really excited about today, is sort of like a super elevated, uh, let's call this a super elevated Waldorf salad. So a crispy, crunchy red apple, some uh, celery. I have some plant-based ricotta in there and some raspberry vinaigrette. And then a lot of, I always like to put a lot of chopped greens you know whenever you can get away with adding more chopped greens i always like to put those in there so um yeah that's that salad so a couple of pretty huge salads and then i've got some um another little surprise i did uh some like little bread things with some i have some truffle uh, a truffle spread that i made back at home at the ranch and so i put that together so we'll have some bread with our salad so that's lunch today at Wind Caves National Park. Not 
very big. <laughs> this is where those first explorers first went down into the cave to start exploring. It's where the wind blows in and out. So you can probably already tell. The barometric, do the barometric pressure. It's a breathing cave. So take something like this flagging tape I have here, hold it right up to the entrance so you can see how strong it is. It's blowing out pretty strong today. So there's a lower pressure system up here on the surface. It's going to be pushing air out. Higher pressure system pulling air in. So it can change day to day, sometimes in the middle of the day. Well, Okay, we're done, we're out. So we just spent about an hour and a half, 200 feet under the ground, going through all the caves, all the tunnels. If you think about uh, when they found these caves over a hundred years ago, when they first started exploring, it was just unbelievable because they really uh, were exploring with candles, the great unknown. A ranger will take, I think it's about 30 people that were with us. Um, and you really don't want to get lost. So we were down a total of about 200 feet and it's dark down there. They have it very well lit, but we learned a lot of things. It's kind of fun to go with the ranger because you can ask any question that you want. There's lots of questions. Um, it's just a, a highly recommended national park. It's very different. It's kind of like Biscayne Bay where you really don't see anything above ground. It's all in Biscayne's case underwater. In this case it's completely underground. We actually wore jackets because it can get to about 54 degrees even though like today it's 85. You're down there it's really cool. It's just an otherworldly um, experience. A couple of basic questions that come up and these are the types of questions people a lot of times don't want to ask. So has anyone ever been lost in this labyrinth of caves of these tunnels way down under the ground? And the answer was yes. In the 80s, a uh, woman got lost. She was lost for 36 hours. She was actually part of a search and rescue um, team learning about how to do search and rescue down there and she got lost. So that was the answer to the one, one of the questions. Um, do bats or other animals, rodents live down there? No, they don't. Um, where does the water go? Because the water seeps through. Um, it, it's somewhat porous material. And so what they said is that when they have a storm out here on the grasslands, the water will seep down and it gets fairly wet down there. When we were down there, 
Uh, there were some areas with puddles on the ground and a couple areas where it was dripping, but 500 feet under um, the, the under the ground, basically the you know where you can see out here, are subterranean lakes. That's pretty cool. Another question was. Um, when the rangers and the scientists go down there to explore, there's certainly a lot of unexplored areas, and there's a couple of areas where um, well, they'll go, and they will literally crawl through tight little tunnels. Uh, one place that they go to is about a two-hour crawl. Another place is an eight-hour crawl through the tunnels. We aren't gonna do any of that kind of thing. We just spent our hour on the tour and that was just fine. So those are the answers to some of the questions that you may have. Highly recommended, that is the Wind Caves National 